Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I has a box for you today. It has stuff in it. I found this at the shops yesterday because that's where you buy stuff from. But my point is yesterday was the 23rd of February and these aren't supposed to be released until the 1st of March. And my shops never released Lego early. They never make that mistake and woo! This time they did. So I've got some of these a little bit earlier before they release. This is the mermaid pack. Have I actually told you what this is? So this is the Lego video, these new sets, which are have been a mystery until very, very recently. And this is a collaboration between Lego and Universal Music. And you can use the minifigure with an app to make your own music videos. That sounds really, really fun and everything, but you know I am here for this hairpiece on the mermaid. This is the mermaid set. It's a nice big box. It was uh, $23 where I got it from, but the RRP is actually $26. So that's quite a lot of money for a box that doesn't have a lot of Lego in it, but we're going to investigate this and see why it costs so much. Also, there are blind bags or blind boxes, and these are RRP $6. I got them for $5. Oh, look at that. Smart device required, but not included. Can't say I'm surprised about that for $5, but some people don't figure these things out. So let's see also what's in these couple of blind boxes as well. But first up, let's crack open the mermaid beatbox. Mermaid beatbox. It's a really nice looking box, actually. Looking at these on the shelves, they are incredibly appealing. Okay, inside. This is new. This is like a, this is new. Okay, so a big square roundy box thing. <gasps> Look at the colors in this, all of the aqua and the mermaidiness and the pink. And these are our instructions. I'm gonna assume their instructions are not promotional material or they're a combo of promotional material and instructions. Okay, I'll put them over here cause I'm gonna need them. <gasps> this is cool. An aqua rounded little mini base plate. A, oh, a brick separator in this box. Mm, that's very unusual in a small set, but this is an unusual theme. Okay, so many new parts I'm seeing here. There's this interesting white plug thing with the turny bit on it. That all makes perfect sense to me, but we'll get it out. We'll have a look. And that's new. And the, that's cool. It's got hinges on the side and a purple strap with lots of little holes in them, but they aren't, they're not actual holes. They're just, they're just pokes. They're little pokey, pokey holes. Right. This box is really pretty. You know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to cut out part of this and I'm going to use it as the backing plate for our stage at the back. That's so, it's really, really pretty. I really like the box. That's concerning, isn't it? No, it's not. That's excellent marketing. Okay. Let's get these bags open and find out what this is all about. So, I'm actually also here for the printed tiles, but we'll look at them in a moment. First up, let's look at our mermaid who's got an ice cream mermaid tail. I'm not overly familiar with the mermaid minifigures, but I'm pretty sure this is roundeder and roundeder and, and much nicer. This is okay. So the mermaid is an ice cream. She's dripping down onto the cone tail and she has got the best head with the extra makeup going on. But I mean, if you're a mermaid, you're going to want to be extra, totally be as extra as you possibly can because you have to be to go with this hair. Where is the mermaid hair? This is why we're here, folks. This is, <laughs> this is, we can stop after we've done this. We can't, but oh my gosh, that hair is my life. It is just beautiful. Oh gosh. Okay. And you know that I have to find out what this hair looks like on a mini doll because that I just have to. So we've got Ariel here. She borrowed her pink tail from her sister and cause sisters love to lend their other sisters things and we'll see. Oh wow. Okay. So there's a little bit of a gap at the back because the head's more tapered than a mini figure head, but it still works really, really nicely with the mini doll. It does make her very top heavy. That is amazing. And I want lots of these in lots of different colors. Okay. We're going to leave Ariel in that at the moment. We keep knocking her over, but I just love it. Now, this white piece here is, I believe, the kind of stand thing. I don't know. We've got the hinge bits on the side and they're, oh, it's hollow at the back. And right. And these other hinged side dory things in aqua. I'm really good with describing words, but you can see what I'm talking about here. And they go on either side and create this little presentation stage for the mini figure. So mini doll can't really go in the middle there because she would, wouldn't, wouldn't be centered, but you could just have one of these kind of pieces and you could sit her right in the middle, but we'll turn her back into the mini figure so that it all looks the way it's supposed to just for this particular video. And then I'm stealing that hair piece forever. I do love that mermaid. Okay. What do we do next? Next up, we find the 16 beat bits, which are they're printed tiles with the cutest little printing and 
this is why I'm here. So there are 16 of these included in this pack. Oh, and there's a pink guitar with candy stripes. I'm pretty sure we've already had a pink guitar, but in a different shape with the candy stripes. Oh, this floats my boat, even without the actual app stuff and the music making stuff. I just, I'm really enjoying all of this so far. Okay, she's got her guitar. Let's have a look at these printed tiles. So this looks like some sort of kind of hip hop dude. I love the fake writing on them. This pink one's got a dancer, a ballet dancer with a swan behind. These are beautiful. I just, I feel the need to collect all of these as like party cowboy. So these are going to be uh, different voice types, I think, and dance styles and backgrounds. I have no idea what that is. Kind of looks like a symmetry thing. I don't know, but they just look amazing. We'll have a go at these on the app. There's a cat, a flying cat, and the colors are just perfect. Oh, wow. Oh, what else is that? I'm very, very excited now. There's um, some kind of equalizer-y thing. Colourful equaliser. Either that or it's a version of Bubble Pop. No, it's not. And this one here is a, a God, an ice cream one. I can just think of so many uses for these tiles. This one's blurry. It kind of looks like the Kiss logo. Kind of, but it's blurry. I'm having trouble focusing on it because it's actually blurred. It's actually supposed to be blurred. It's not just my camera not focusing. <laughs> this is the cutest thing. Oh my gosh. It's a little mouse singing. Oh, <laughs> I've died. These are amazing. And oh no, I'm more dead. The happy pandas floating around everywhere. Okay. All right. I wonder, these are very cute. I wonder if you get ones that aren't quite as cute in the other packs that are more kind of funky or, or gothy. The rainbow looks lovely. There's a French horn. So maybe this is like a classical, classical choice. I don't know what all these do, but they just look incredible. And these don't fit on the back, the back plate. This looks like kind of like Among Us. I don't know what's going on there. So we've got four extras that don't fit on the back plate. I don't know what this is. Maybe a confetti cannon, or maybe it's supposed to go that way, like a sparkler shower. I don't know, but I'm excited. This one just looks dangerous. <laughs> we might not use that one. So when you use that one, you get electrocuted. This dude's totally flossing. I'm sure he's flossing. So that must be a dance mode. All right, these look amazing. <laughs> I think that I'm, I think that I've over, I've got a little bit overexcited. So let's do some actual Lego building. This is a bit of a decoration and this is the actual only Lego making that we do, but we get to decorate it like a Lego dots kind of style mosaic -y thing, but it's a little bit different to Lego dots because it builds up into a tiny bit of 3D. And because this plate has got curved corners, our curved pieces, our curved tiles go beautifully around it. There are a few different choices of what you can actually build on here, but I'm just building the, the basic one. Well, the, the main one of the ice cream because it's just so cute. Look, see, so we're building it up onto a 3D kind of platform and we've got our ice cream. Okay, so what do we then do with this? We put this in this pink bit, <laughs> this pink bit, which is a really interesting shape. It's like a storage container, but each of these little slots here are for storing your extra tiles. This is so tidy. My brain is so happy right now. And they're so secure. Oh my gosh. And then you put the lid on and that looks like it's not going to come off very easily. Nah, it, it does come off. It's very firmly on there though. Probably so that it doesn't accidentally come off when you're carrying it around and all your beat bits fly everywhere because that would make me very, very cross. Mm, and nobody likes a cross Ellie now. What do we do now? So this then gets this plugged in into it. Oh, is there a way I should be doing this? I don't know. And then we fold these in on the side so that we can put the transparent cover on there. But first up, we've got some things we need to add to this transparent cover. So it's transparent on the front, it's frosted on the sides, and these plug into the holes and they've got the, the base for the turny things like those, those dials or gears, or I don't know what you call them, the flowery looking gears. But if we put these, which are also new and aqua and amazing little rounded, they're going to make the most perfect. I mean, they already look like the most perfect ice cream top. So they go on the side and they're actually supposed to, they spin, but they're actually supposed to look like headphones, I think. So I need to take them off again. And we're supposed to put this, this is going to be the handle and also looks design wise like headphones. So if we put that in there, ice cream style headphones to go specifically with our ice cream mermaid. Okay. I am loving this so much more than I expected to. So this goes on. Yeah. Okay. So there is an orientation for this. So I need to just turn this around like that. 
it because it needs to clip into this this space on the side to the notch on the side that's oh hold on now my ice creams no don't take it off like that that'll mess everything up ice cream i want it facing up that looks okay that is really fun okay a few extra pieces let's open up our video app and see what this is supposed to do give it a go All right, so here is our app and let's follow our instructions. We want to start playing with a video bandmate that we can scan and we're using a beatbox because we've got one of them and we want, we want a mermaid with her amazing hair and now we need to prepare oh, 28 megabytes. Okay, sure. This is going to take how long? This is going to take forever. Let me cut this bit out. Let's zoom through this bit. Right. Okay. So we have downloaded the new content. Now we get to place our Candy Mermaid video band made on a scan base with at least three bit beat pit tasks. We are doing more than just three. We're doing a whole world. We're going to put the, we're putting all those ones up there that we can put up there. So now we need to line her up with the grid. So I need to get her out of the box and face her, face the little side bits out. That's amazing. I love her little stage. And now <laughs> thumping things as we go. I need to try and line her up. So well, it's further away than I expected. Let's get her into the grid. Is she there yet? Is that right? Will that work? Okay, so it doesn't automatically scan. I need to press the little scan button down in the bottom corner. Oh no, here we go. We've scanned all the beat bits. <gasps> I want to find out what these beat bits do though. What happens if I tap on that? Nothing. Nothing. That's a bit disappointing. I want to find out what they do. And now we need to download the beat bits we haven't used before. Five megabytes. Right, more downloading. Oh, this is fun, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're ready to roll. Don't get in people's way when you are recording. Now. -uh. now. Give your band a name, Fickle Stunt. <laughs> I like how that sounds, but no. What are you gonna do? I could honestly spend all day just scrolling through here. Who's <laughs> elephant class? Uh, excited will work. The fluffy tomatoes. Definitely right. So we're going with the fluffy tomatoes. Let's make a music video. That was overwhelming. Find a good spot. Don't record people without their permission. Or nanas get cross. Be alert. Stay safe. Oh, and are we I find a spot that is not too far away or too close? All that red cloud means that we are too close. So let's uh, let's just move everything a bit. Okay, tap thingy to set the stage. It's green, so that means I must be able to do this. So whatever is in my screen is going to be in our performance. Okay, we're ready. All right, I'm excited. Let's find out the fluffy tomatoes. The Bricks video theme. Yay! The mermaid's happy. Let's see how this goes. What happens if I tap this? Okay, she does some beatboxing. Nice work, mermaid. That's cool. Okay, so it doesn't just automatically turn off. It doesn't have a... a like, it just keeps looping. Now what happens if we put in the... That's some lovely dancing. <laughs> some seriously good tail waggling with the ballet. We can... Oh, we've added the, added the happy pink pistols and gone back to the ballet. So that's just a quick one. What's this one? Ooh, it's a psychedelic background. It's a kaleidoscope. All right, we got two things going at once now. We've got ballet and kaleidoscope background. What happens if we tap the cat? Tap the cat. <laughs> yeah, he's a flying cat. Let's turn this off. Let's slide the cat across again. <laughs> I saw the cat to fly across a lot when he does that one. And it, oh, oh, come on! I didn't even try all, the, like, I didn't even try half of them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Done! I didn't get through all of them. I was just too excited trying out those few. Okay, that was great. It can say, oh, we've, oh, why are we on our side now? Checking for updates, please wait. Are you kidding me? Can we not just go back and watch? 135 megabyte update. Uh, okay, press OK to start. This is going to take forever. So let's have a look at these boxes, the blind boxes, while we wait for that download. We, there's, 
So I think the lesson learned here is there's a lot of downloading. <laughs> so much data to download. Oh, so you need to be patient, but we've got other things to open while we wait. So let's check this one out. It's the alien. It's an orangey pinky alien. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not quite as excited by these as the mermaid because I don't know how many of these hair pieces. I do love, love that ice cream, but I can't use it on a mini doll. But yeah, you can't have everything. I want everything. I want to be able to use these heads on mini dolls. So these are the choices of what we could be getting in our first series here of the blind boxes. And this is the alien that we've got. She's got a little, a little tile up there with a, like a ghost being stabbed, it looks like. So it looks like that's the definite one that we get, but the other, yeah, okay, but the other tiles are gonna be random. So let's put our alien together. So we get one definite tile, the stabby ghost, and the other two are random tiles. Oh, look, he's got a UFO necklace. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I don't think he is a he. I reckon he's a she. I, I think this is a she. Her headpiece is cute. That hairpiece is really cute. If I ever want my mini dolls to be aliens, they have got the perfect hairpiece now. And, oh, hold on. She's got, she's got a, she's got a kita. A, a turquoise kita. And look at that. The keys are actually printed correctly on this one. Oh my gosh. All right. Purple kita is purple. Turquoise pin guitar is awesome. Oh, okay, that's very cute. I really, really love these characters. They're so wacky. I just wish there were mini dolls. Ah, mini dolls get so ripped off, they don't get all the advantages that mini figures do. But let's have a look at these tiles. This is so cute. <laughs> I, oh my gosh. Okay, I, oh, I need all these tiles. This is so cool. This is like a 70s, a 70s flower child one. Oh, wow. And this is our stabby ghost, <laughs> which I'm very curious to find out what this actually does when you use it in the dance video, in your, in your music video. It could not, it might not be dancing. I don't know what it is though. And now we actually create a stand for this. So this gets stuck on the front here. And then the minifigure goes on the top as a display. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm loving these a lot more than I expected to. Right, and we are still at a lot to download. So let's open up the next one. Let's do that. They do look really amazingly displayed though, don't they? Was that words? Amazingly displayed? Yeah, that, that's the sentence. Okay, so colorful and I love color. Bring these with mini dolls. They would just look so good. Okay. I, I'm never going to move on from this, but I'm, I, I am excited to. So what do we got in here? Oh, nice. This is very nice. This is the genie. The genie has got a musical print on the top vest. Very spa, very sparkly. Nice and nice and shiny gold vest. Oh, wow. And she's also got some seriously extra makeup going on. Actually, that's not seriously extra. That's, that's just, that's mildly extra and it's beautiful. She looks lovely. Pink hair. I will never say no to pink hair. That looks amazing. And she's got a tambourine, a printed tambourine piece. Oh, wow. Okay. So if she can hold that and, oh, that's so good. <laughs> All right. So the, I'm actually really happy with those two minifigures that I got. Let's find out what, let's build our stand and then we'll find out what our, what our printed tiles are for this. <laughs> this is the exciting part. There's a chicken! It's, oh my god, it's definitely gonna sound like that. Maybe, <laughs> definitely maybe. Oh, I've gone nuts, the chicken's amazing. I don't even know what this one is, but it looks incredible. And what's the last one? Oh, this is the one that's supposed to come with the genie. So it just, oh, it's so pretty. It's, oh, these are, these are fantastic. Whoever did the artwork for these tiles, my hat's off to them. This is really cool. Oh, she's all centered. They really should have put one of those little jumper stud things in the middle so that she could have been centered on the top there, but that's all right. Okay, these are our three minifigures. These are all our, well, not quite all of our beat bits because we got four stored away in the box. We've got a plethora of them. Now we just have to find out how to use them. How is our download going here? Let's check in. We still have 86 megabytes remaining, right. You, what we'll do is we'll just uh, take a break and we'll come back to it now. So let's see. We've got we got we're in the bandmates. These are the beat bits. Are these just the ones that I have or the ones that I can access? It's given me some free ones for 23 hours. Let's go and register our genie dancer. She dances so well that you wish you could dance like her. And if you're really lucky, she'll grant you that wish because she is a genie and that's what they do. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Let's scan, 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 scan. Nope. 
downloading we're downloading some more stuff this is very fun isn't it we're even preparing it eight megabytes let's cut that now scan genie with any 3d bits oh here she is okay she is ready to roll scan two bits where are all my other beat bits though can i access them let's press play yeah Okay, we need to download beat bits you haven't used before. Oh, this is fun. Cut that. Okay, then we added collect. So we get more things. That... <laughs> I still have no idea what's going on. We're getting some epic moment rewards though. That's nice. These look fun. And some layout rewards, which also look fun. <laughs> There's a lot that I've already got here and I don't even have any idea how to use it. Photo shoot rewards. Bandmate added. Add to band. Let's add her to the fluffy shadows. And nice. Oh, look, Mermaid looks very happy to see her. Okay, I'm going to cut here and add the alien. So the alien is in in, is in, is in, 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 is in, in, in our band. We can do some music and actually do a performance. Or we cannot because none of this is loading. So none of these actual pictures are loading. Uh, and all of these, okay, I'm going to get myself into trouble if I do a video with any of this music in the background because it's all copyrighted. So I'm going to have to do this just, I'm just going to have to do, you're just going to have to investigate this on your own. I might be alright if I do one of the Lego ones themselves, but I'm not going to take that risk because I just don't know what's going to happen. Let's go back to our band and nothing seems to be loading anyway. Maybe this is not quite ready yet because it's not the 1st of March yet. All right, so this is going to require a whole heap of investigation, but there is there's a lot going on in the app. But I look, even without the app, the fact that the minifigures are just, they are amazing. I didn't think I was going to like this, but oh my gosh, look at those minifigures. Look at their accessories and the beat bits, the printed tiles are out of this world. The color is intense. I, I love it. <laughs> All right, now's the time to subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed investigating this with me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll be back with more stuff soon. And I will have, have a look at the app and see how it works. But I probably can't share with that, that with you on the channel. So have a look at it for yourself if you want to. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye.